TTs, welcome back to the channel. It looks like rich homie Kwan's longtime girlfriend slash baby mother Rella has decided to speak out and post another sentimental message about rich homie Kwan and how she's feeling all of the emotions that she's going through. Now, I want to clarify this. This is his longtime girlfriend, the woman who he was living with, who he has a child with. I believe they have two children together. I may be wrong. But yes, this is the woman that we heard on the 911 call. Like I said, wanted to clarify that because I know there was a few women who were speaking out at the time. Anyways, yes, like I said, Rella decided to share this message. We're going to get into it. Also, we're going to get into the lives that she's been doing now. She has been going live for the past few days. This is something that I didn't know. We're going to get into those lives. She said in this live, and you guys are going to hear it, that she's going to be releasing some music. Now, yes, if you guys don't know, Rella is not only known for being Rich Homie Kwan's longtime girlfriend, she was actually an artist. She hasn't been releasing any music for the past few years, but I guess now people have been asking her to release music in wake of Rich Homie Kwan passing. So she said that she is going to get in the studio and she's going to be releasing some music. I'm guessing that she's going to be releasing music about, you know, what happened with Rich Homie Kwan and her feelings about that. Maybe one or two songs, who knows? But shout out to her for, I guess, getting back in the studio and you know continuing her passion anyways without further ado let's go ahead and get into what she wrote today she said this has to be the toughest thing i've ever endured don't even know how to gather my words when i met you i had no idea how our life was going to change for the good you got locked up and that time apart brought us closer fast forward on the rise of your career i knew what i signed up for no one could tell me anything about you i wasn't going for it support is an understatement i'm still gonna go hard for you till this day never had anything hit me this close i did all that i could to make you smile despite what we've been through it taught me to be stronger all this time i thought i was strong but this got me weak our boys worship the ground you walk on feel like someone ripped my heart out of my chest you work your ass off and i finally convinced you that we need to start vacationing in which we did always make sure that you was an active father to all your kids. I couldn't treat you like an artist because you're still human. My first love and my last. I can't question God, but I can call on him just like I could call on you. You had so much more to do, but it's on us to keep your name alive. I'm hurt, devastated, numb, angry, disappointed, just flat out numb. I do know one thing for certain is that I gave you your flowers while you were here with us and I did my part. I don't know if I'll ever be okay. No matter what it was, we would never spend holidays or birthdays without each other. You're truly missed and loved by us. Nothing could define us and nothing could stop us. This hit me where it hurts the most. I love you. Can't nobody tell me how to blank or cope with this. Just want peace. You would always say until D-E-A-T-H do us part, but this was way too soon. So super sad message and we can definitely feel for Rella. My prayers would definitely be up for her, her child, Rich Homie Kwan's family. Anyways, like I said, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into her live. Thank you for watching Room for Tea. I'll see you guys in my next one. to be somewhere that something tragic happened that was constantly tragic before my eyes every time I walk past I'm actually not at home. If you really know me, you can tell I'm not at home. I don't really care either why I keep going live. Only because I can't text and call everybody back. So and thank y'all all at once. It's overwhelming. And what y'all need to understand is I don't need I don't need acknowledgement. I did my part. I did my part while he was alive. I overdid my part. So I'm chilling, I'm chilling. All this he not gonna be able to see. I did my part, as y'all can see. Scroll down my page, every birthday, every Christmas, I did my part, straight up. I don't have nothing to prove. I don't have nothing to, you know, it's no competition, it's none of that. I know my heart, Ben gave him his flowers. Since the day I met him, I'm still real. I remember we got these tattoos and all the girls, we got ours in cursive and the boys got cat blocks. Yeah, he actually got a um, tattoo of my initials in my birthday when he was locked up. <laughs> Once again, I'm only alive because I cannot text and respond to everybody. I'm getting too many texts, too many calls. It don't matter what people say. It does not matter. None of that matters. Like, I don't care about that. Y'all need to understand. Stop. I wasn't left alone. My family was right behind me. Y'all tripping. That'd be, a, that'd be the problem. Y'all just be. I promise. I ain't never alone. I'm putting together something right now. Y'all wanna hear my music that bad? 
I got you. I don't know what to do, honestly. My position, I don't know what to do. I'm all over the place. Will, you can get them anytime. Listen, I don't catch a break. Caught a little break yesterday, still didn't catch one. Y'all in these questions, like y'all finna sponsor. Because I have to I surround myself with who love me, who support me at all times. <laughs> Yeah, I'm looking into counseling. I definitely need counseling. I, need, I know I'm gonna need it. I ain't too good for it. We was actually going to counseling. I made him go to counseling. I told him we gotta go together. Like we had, we used to have sessions on our own. Uh, well, we have a couple sessions and then we'll have um, separate ones. Royo, yes. come here. Let me take this filter off. So bad. Here's your time. No, I haven't been yeah. watched. I wanna go play the game. Tell everybody. And cry. So that's why I keep holding, holding it back. I'm not. Um. Mm -mm. Probably my own time. I already cried. I've been crying, crying. Every day. I don't feel like crying. You've made me sadder and sadder. More sad. Like we, they probably was streaming. Um, they, I mean, a lot of people been calling me and stuff like that. I have no control over the capacity. Um, I know y'all seen the link. That we posted tickets or for sale they were free so they weren't for sale but everything was free so if you didn't get in with the ticket um actually they oversold i don't know how they did it um so um we everything is based off capacity everybody i can stop calling i don't have anything extra okay um i have what i have for my immediate family and friends so I appreciate y'all reaching out. I appreciate everybody sending their love. If you still want to send or whatever, you can still do so. But as far as attending, I don't even want to attend this. Nothing like this. So, um, y'all just be looking out. I know I haven't been posting much. I don't have much to post.